Fisher shells. There were human remains that were found at the Sh Siriki shell mound. He had a jab on here the teeth. Located on the coastal plain of northwestern Guyana is an ancient wonder which helps us to understand the lives of the indigenous people who occupied the area thousands of years ago. Heaps of unique shells, known as the shell mounds, are spread across the Barima Waini and Pomeroon Supernam regions, with some carbon dated to over 7,000 years ago. A shell mound is a refuse heap that was made by people that lived in the area hundreds of thousands of years ago. When people um, live in a certain area and they start hunting, fishing, um, introducing themselves to agriculture, they need somewhere to throw away the products that they don't really need. Um, that's how a shell mound is, is formed over time. They throw things in um, and it grows over the, the centuries. We travel to the community of Siriki, located on the right bank of the Pomeroon River, several miles above Charity and approximately four miles up an estuary of the river where one of these mounds can be found. In Siriki, we met with Harry Rebai, a resident of the village for 60 years who guided us to the site of the shell mound which happens to be in his backyard. They say that um, is the um, Amerindians like use they use it as a, a burial, burial ground. Uh, yeah, but different people come. You hear different things. So what else they hear? They hear that they hear was um this was sea bed and um they got the type of shell where they put it. We don't we don't find no shell wrong about it. Mm -hmm. No, we don't find no shell. A little wrong shell. The trek to reach the Shelmong entailed journeying through thick vegetation and swampy areas. After approximately 30 minutes of walking, we arrived at the site of the Mong. Research conducted by a team from the Walter Rock Museum of Anthropology in 2011 reports that the maximum dimensions of the mound are currently 62 meters long, 36 meters wide and 5.2 meters in height. The Siriki shell mound um, is dated to 4,000 years ago, but it was used only a handful of times until 200 years ago. The Siriki shell mound is the largest in the area and for its age. Um, it mostly is comprised of shells from mollusks, snails, um, the carapaces of crabs, fish bones, some animal remains, um, some human remains, sometimes pottery, and flakes from when people were making stone tools. So this is, this is a bone? The bone. Now this, this, this is the next part. You know that is color man, this. And these are um, ribs. If you go down low, you find the bone. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You hear the song, when you pick it up, it changes the song. It's your shells. A major meaning that we can derive from the Siriki Shell Mound is the diet of the people who lived in the area. For example, as you said, the, the shells that we find there are not the animals that live there now. It tells us that in the past, the area was a vastly different place. It tells us the, the diet of the people who lived there um, would explain their mobilization habits. Why did they move to the shore? Why did they move away from the shore? And when we can pick up on these little nuances in their behavior, we're able to find more information about other sites. The shell mound is 4,000 years old, 
and the Warao have inhabited the area in that time. Um, but we aren't certain if they are the only inhabitants. Though research spanning as far back as 1868 and as recent as 2016 was conducted on the shell mounds, much additional work remains to be done. The archaeological record is not something that is renewable. When it is gone, it is gone forever. So if there is a means of preserving it so that the future generations will be able to pick up more information than we, than we did, that would be excellent.